Hello and welcome to 50 Minute Gamer. My name is Tony. This is Pro Evolution Soccer 2019. I'm talking over my intro for the first time ever. And this is a very different kind of video. I well, I've not played a Pro Evo game since about 2008, maybe. I'm a FIFA guy. So here we are to have a look at it. Um, jumped in. This is the options you get. So you get kickoff, you get exhibition match, random section, co-op versus and other stuff and then you get to go to i'm just playing around here air uh, versus and training as well i did have a little look at training i got bored and then online you can do my club online divisions online quick click match quick friendly match and team player lobby as well then you can play offline which is the master league become a legend the league the cup and then some extras as well where you can do some editing so I thought I'd take a little look at each of the modes then show you some gameplay where you won't hear me talk at all I'll be nice and quiet. And just to see how it compares to FIFA. So this is be a legend mode, a legend club, whatever you call it. Just basically me in a game in a club. And this is how it sets up. So I sped this up obviously just so you can see how many options are. There's loads. You'd be here all day setting these options up. There's so many of them. It actually impressed me how many. Unfortunately I went, there's too many. I'm now never going to mess with half of these. So basically... I just um, made a bold person, because <laughs> if in doubt, I mean, it can kind of look like, it kind of looks like Iniesta, Iniesta makes with me, I guess. Um, you get to choose some boots that I presume needs probably unlock. Uh, you can even select what sort of shirt style you want, celebrations you want, how you want to run. Um, so you can set everything up in relation to a lot and lot of stuff. So once you've done that, you select what's called a player mold. I saw it down here, just so you can see how many options there is. So you can select to be a creative playmaker, um, a dummy runner, a roaming flank, roaming flank, not roaming flank, you're not from Italy or something from a long time ago, box to box, the destroyer. So you can be anything, you can have a look down, and I just had a look, and I was like, mm, I want to be kind of a striker. Striker is always kind of way I always play in these games. I play this mode on FIFA, it's probably the mode I play the most, so I was interested to see how this works. So uh, I think I selected a classic number 10, no, whole player, I want to be a whole so I was like, yeah, I'm going to be a whole player. That sounds fun. And now I get set up. I get some stats. I'm 17 and I start at a club. And now we're into my first match. So I am Hello, introduced to this nail cutscene. I'm playing AC in International Champions Club Cup NA. I don't know what it means. But first thing that impressed me, the graphics. Yeah, look really nice. Um, I've signed for, well, I got given a Welsh, South Welsh team or something. Something like I can't remember now. But some sort of, I didn't get to choose what club I was going to start off with. Um, and obviously AC Milan are licensed. I'm not licensed, so you can see the difference. So you've got shirt sponsors, the prop of players the likeness that sort of things i don't um i just have a very generic strip generic names i think maybe i'm not too sure uh you can see they have flags waving around and stuff i don't have any flags nobody wants yet to see me but very nice animation looks good i was quite impressed by this um and i just wanted to kind of include it in just so you can see what's like and this is the be a pro mode uh, that's the fifa name whatever this is called in this um where you control one player and you run around the pitch. So this is about five minutes of gameplay. Um, maybe not even that. I'm just gonna sh just gonna let it play. You can see how it works, how the commentary works, the sound effects, um, how the control is, the replays, close-ups, the animations, that sort of things. And I'll be back with the next mode. Suso. Bit of an appeal, but nothing doing. Oh, tracking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, uh, of stopping them. Get better this. We haven't seen a shot yet, and I'm hoping that when we do, it'll spark a whole series of them because it needs livening up. That'll be a throw. Got a shot away. Done very well to get to that. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Through. Certainly not going to want 
of trying. Been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. Reflections on the first half. Yeah, the scoreline doesn't tell the whole story as one side has been significantly better, at least defensively. An engrossing half, but we're still where we started. Nil-nil. He's through. He's one-on-one. -on -one. Shot a goal. They've scored. Just the pick-me-up the whole game needs. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? they give themselves a chance. <laughs> Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Terrific contest. It really might have tipped either way. The margins were tiny. Just a goal in it, but that was enough. Yeah, it was never a match that was going to blow us all away, Peter, but I felt the team did a lot right, especially that well-timed goal. And all that remains for me is to thank Jim Beglin. That's it from us tonight. A very good evening to one and all. And now this is match number two against FCK. I think it was Copenhagen. I think I can't remember. Uh, but this is match two. So again, just a few minutes of gameplay. Uh, these were a bit of an easier team. Um, and do I score? Do I score? Yes, I do. Look at that, and then I get to choose my celebration so I can stick my arm in the air. Full celebration or celebration one or two. That's how it works. And enjoy it, and I'll be back in a minute. And that was the legend mode. Did you enjoy it? It was just a little bit of gameplay just to show you how it kind of works. Now we're just going to look at a basic exhibition match. You can see here on the side, I'm being Tyneside, which is Newcastle. Um, I'm playing against the 
Belgian teams, which are all set. It's a licensed league. There's a couple of licensed leagues on here, but I just thought I'd show you how many stadiums on here. There's 45, so we've got the New Camp. We've got the Veltenus Arena, Anfield, Emirates Stadium, uh, San Siro. There's quite a few on there. Um, some real, <clears throat> some not real. There's some fake ones at the end, uh, which they've just made. And some of them haven't got the real names either. If they haven't got the license things, so... You can select a stadium, you can select the time of play, you can select the season, whatever, you can even the length of the grass as well. So I guess if you put it long, you won't be able to do as many short balls on the ground or something. I'm not too sure. So, standard exhibition match, you control all the players. And again, I'm just going to let it run. You can look at the commentary, you can see how it works, you can see what you find interesting, what you don't find interesting, and if it's your kind of thing. So, yes, I'm now going to again... Be quiet and enjoy. The game will be underway very shortly. Here's a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. We have already started here. on the right flank now what's next Kisun Young tries lifting it over goes for goal he scored and some of the best managers I played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on and we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more who really does look at it and however many surrounded him that is what he can do now, this fellow's as slippery as a eel the way he freed himself to score. I mean, for that defence, it was a case of, now you've got him, now you don't. Brilliant. Their, their main threat is being shifted out of the hand elect and a free kick. That's going to be a good thing. Referee's awarded a free kick. Take by the keeper, he's read that well. London has made his impact already. to safety. Can he score? The defence can get it clear. Good movement there, but not the best of finishes. No, that was a slick move, and there were several options in the box to, uh, to pick out. He's made sure that that won't get through. Going through. Ball's loose. Who's going? Fitz has got rid of that. Don't. I think there's skill there. It's in first Really well taken goal. Into the lead once more. That is some volley. Great technique. Oh, that's great thinking and wonderful improvisation. He had to reshape quickly to make the perfect connection. He's so young. Let's run over. Ran himself into trouble there. Free kick given away. No hesitation, he's straight into his pocket. It's a second yellow card and he walks. He's protesting furiously, but there's little or no sympathy for the ref. There may be some scope for debate over the seriousness of the offence, but none over its repercussions. We'll to see out the rest of the game at 10 I hope you enjoyed that. 
And that was expedition mode. Now we're just going to have a look at the being manager mode, manager mode, club mode, whatever it's called. Um, you know the iteration. Basically, I am a manager of a club and I have to run that club. So, you choose your manager. You can make them look like what you like. I made him a bold guy with some glasses on, made him look a bit older. Um, you can see here there's just a bit of general chit chat and this is your screen that you're presented with. So you can forward time to the next thing. You've got these nice little news stories here. You've got team management where you can go into having a look at things like how your team are going to be set up, uh, how it looks, transfers, scouting, that sort of thing. Um, and I've got Barcelona in the first game. And Barcelona, I mean, come on. Arsenal and letting Barcelona in my group of this champions football, whatever it's called. I was like... Nah, I'm, I'm screwed. <laughs> I'm basically screwed. There now, so you see these game plans, negotiations, training, and you can go to training and assign skill points. Um, and you can also have a look, see what people are doing, so you can see what they're going to do. So they're going to be balanced, so they're going to be Roman. And you can see how their stats and stuff go up um, as you select each option. And there's all my players there. Um, and what do I go to next? I go on the game plan. I go on the game plan. Uh, this is where you can make substitutions. You can look at player settings. You can see who's going to be your captain, your long free kick, your short, your right, your penalty kick, players to join attack if you want them to join an attack or not. You can also do some possession games. You can change formations when they attack, who they're doing this, what they're doing, how they're doing. It's quite in depth, to be fair. I was, it wasn't expecting this much from it. Uh, but. There is a lot, and you can choose what your D-pad buttons do. So up does this, down does that. Um, you can do things like, do they auto offside trap or not? Uh, auto substitution, so you can have it a bit automated as well on there. Um, manager's office, so I can look at missions. So missions, are, my current mission is to win the cup. Never going to happen. Um, and then I can look at finances, my manager settings, so I can change who I am again if I want to change things, so I can change who I look like or my name. Um, and actually, it's just, there's quite a few options on there to go through and some interesting ones really and that's about it oh, okay the last little thing to look at then is you can look at the clubs and also you can do scouting uh, so you can send your scouts to different parts of the world and we are ready to play I in this one wasn't sure what I was going to do so I thought I'll go and play it um, and I selected proceed to match in coach mode I was thinking, that means that you don't play. Uh, I mean, that's what, look, you can see it's, you know, it's deciding strategy, substitutions, role and control and players. And I thought I'd give it a go. So there's not much footage in here because not much happens in this mode. But again, um, I'll just show you what it's like. So you go in, um, as you can see, if you press R1, L1, you can speed up time. You can press the D-pad buttons whenever you want to different parts of the, you know, things. You can go in this mode. Uh, just kind of like, was like the old football managers. So you see shots on targets, pass, touches, ball winning, possession, what your team are doing, if they're doing well, if they're doing bad, and if they're playing an offensive line, defensive line. Um, you can go back in this mode and see them playing it properly. You see I even got shot on target against Barcelona. Isn't that good? You wouldn't expect that. Um, but yeah, this is how this mode works. So uh, you just take control of this bit. Uh, there's not too much to show. As you can see, you can speed it up, slow it down. And when you speed it up, the game did go quite quickly, and it'll stop the shots or highlights. And that was that. And strangely, I won that game 2-0. So that's good, isn't it? Anyway, the final bit I want to show you was the editing. Because I know the proper state, the proper names of the teams aren't in there. So I thought I'd have a look and just see what it lets you edit your club-wise. So you can still make your club your club not in a total way uh, but you can change the team name so you can see here yeah, i was just messing around with the team name so i changed it to newcastle of course and you can change the strip as well i've sped the next bit up uh, just so you can kind of see it so yeah you can edit the things and you can edit most things on it and that said i'm pretty sure you can import stuff and scan stuff in so there is a lot to do around that and that was just something i was just playing around with so could i make the strip black and white Yes, I could. Um, so I could make them look a little bit more like Newcastle. There's a, you can see the amount of options here. There's a hell of a lot. Like, so many options. You can't put sponsorship on that, I've noticed. But there might be other things you can do. But I just thought I'd have a little bit of a play around. And just see what I could make. And I made Newcastle a little bit better. 
And there we have it. I just thought I would show you some approval because it's a game I always overlook. I've overlooked it for 10, 11, maybe 12 years. Last year was the first time I didn't buy a football game since I don't know when. You're probably looking at 96, 97, if not earlier, like first time. And when I saw Pro-Evil come out, and Pro-Evil last year got very good reviews, so I thought yeah, it was worth our checking out. And all I want to do is present some of the things of the game, how the game looks, how the game plays. Uh, not well, because obviously it's me playing, but you know you might watch this and think, ooh, actually, that looks pretty good. Or you might think, okay, I'm no chance of mine even FIFA. Um, was what was I impressed? Mm, kind of. It's, it's all right. Um, the graphics are nice. The players seem to react really well. The animations are good. The crowd looks good. The little things around the stadium, the little videos are all good. I just, it's just that not having the official licenses kind of just isn't as good. Like, I want to play as my teams, and I don't think I could get Newcastle being Newcastle. Uh, take a lot of effort to get that in, at least the editors there. But I hope you enjoyed this very, very different kind of video. I've never made a video like this, and I will catch you all later. Goodbye.